Welcome to Pelican's How to Assemble and Calibrate Your Rudder. In the boat you will find one bracket, one rudder, a left grommet and a right grommet, two short screws, two long screws, one large lock nut, and finally two smaller lock nuts. To complete this installation, you will need the following tools. One 332nd Allen key, a 15 millimeter wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver. Let's start by installing the support bracket for the rudder first. Simply line up the bracket with pre-drilled holes on the back of the kayak and loosely insert the two shorter screws and tighten once both screws are installed. Then take your rudder, which should already have the bolt inserted, and make sure your cables are not twisted before inserting the bolt into the support bracket. Using the larger lock nut, tighten the rudder into place. Lock the rudder in its neutral position by inserting it into its clip. Now it's time to install your rudder's guide wires. Each grommet has either an L or an R on its side indicating on which side of the rudder the grommet should be used. The left grommet should be installed on the left side of the rudder when you're looking towards the front of the boat. You will notice a pre-installed set screw in the grommet, which will be used to tighten the guide wires in place later on. For now, let's loosen this set screw using your Allen key. Be careful not to completely remove it. If you look down the hole where the wires will go, you just want to make sure the set screw is not blocking the space. Pass the guide wire through the inner track of the grommet, then loop it over the top and down through the hole. Now you can use one of the longer screws and one of the smaller lock nuts to mount the grommet to the rudder. Before starting the next step, you need to lock your steering handle into place by centering it and dropping a screwdriver through the locking hole. Next, remove all slack from the guide wire by pulling and holding it tight while using your other hand to tighten the set screw. You want to make sure the set screw is tight enough to hold the guide wire in place without over tightening it, which will cause the guide wire to kink. Repeat this step for the right side. Once you're finished, unlock and deploy your rudder. Remove the screwdriver and test it out. You are now ready to get back out on the water. Feel free to leave any questions in the comment section below and check out the rest of our how-to video series.